Hey guys, what's up? Yo, Kurama here, and I'm here today to bring you guys my episode 3 review of Cuticle Tante Inaba. Now, I said I'm not gonna do weekly episode reviews of this because this is a comedy anime, and there's not, like, too much to talk about because all it is is jokes, jokes, jokes. But for some reason, I'm enjoying this series a lot more than I should or that I thought I would, so I'll just keep on bringing the reviews as long as I keep enjoying them. And I think I want to talk about this episode because there was another character introduced in the second second half of the episode, which I'll mention in a little bit. I, I want to briefly talk about the first half, which I didn't care too much about. It was the Valentine's Day part of the series. Like again, Tamako Market, and I mentioned in the review that why are you doing these Valentine's Day episodes now if Valentine's Day is in like a month? In less than a month, actually. Why are they doing it now? I don't get it. They did that in Tamako Market episode 2. Now they're doing a Cuticle Tante Inaba's episode 3. That's weird. Why not just wait another like three weeks? I don't get that, but but yeah, there was the Valentine's Day episode. There were some, I guess, funny parts. But honestly, I didn't really care about that part too much. The goat just thought of a new plan, made these love potion chocolates, and he tried to make Inaba fall in love with him or Lorenzo and then break his heart because he wants he wants the wolf to feel the agony. But that didn't work out, obviously. And then we move on to part two of the episode where we're introduced to a new character named Stella. Stella is a little girl that is also a wolf and she's training to become a police dog and man dude she was all this like cutesy little girl that you know that's scared you know if you if you yell a little bit she's gonna be like you know hide in the corner because she's she's afraid of you but then she got pissed off because she got really close to Ogata who is the rival detective of Ogino and he got shot and he got hurt and she got so pissed off that she tried to kill and eat Valentino the goat and we also found out that these dogs they have these special powers that whatever they taste first that's what they're gonna start craving for that is the reason why Inaba like he he craves hair is because he tasted hair and now that's what he has to taste to like activate his power but if you taste blood or flesh you're gonna pretty much become like a zombie or a vampire and you're gonna get put down so she's running around trying to eat the goat and it's, it's crazy like everybody's running around like stop you don't want to get put down but man Stella is awesome I want to see more of Stella so far my my three favorite characters of the series is Ogino, Azusa, and Stella. Those are three awesome characters. Very, very funny. But yeah, I don't know why I'm enjoying this series. Honestly, this series kind of sucks. It's not even that funny most of the time. But when it is funny, I find myself laughing quite a bit. And I, I need to talk about those moments. They're just, they're just hilarious. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to continue these weekly. Like I said, I'm going to be just talking about this as long as I'm enjoying the anime. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys are still watching this. If you guys are enjoying these episodes. Let me know your favorite parts in the episode and all that kind of good stuff. Always looking forward to reading those comments below. Also, guys, make sure to like the video because it helps out a lot and I very much appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy episode reviews, first impressions, and anime news and all that kind of good stuff. I'm Yokurama and baby, I'm out. Peace!